Now today we're going to talk about what is sales resistance and how do you avoid triggering it when you're speaking with your prospects. Holy hell, that might be important. Now, sales resistance is what happens when your prospect feels that your only intent is to sell them something. Human beings have become conditioned to being sold 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Think about it. When you wake up, what do you do? You go on social media, Instagram, Facebook, you see ads trying to sell you something. You turn on your TV and commercials are trying to sell you something. You get in your car to go to work, you turn on the radio, radio ads trying to sell you something. You drive down the road and you see billboards trying to sell you something. You then get home at night, you get back on social media, your friend is promoting the newest, greatest vitamin or skincare, trying to sell you something. You see, we live in a society that is trying to sell you something every hour of every day that you're actually awake. And because of that, human beings have become desensitized to pushy salespeople who they feel are only out for themselves. So when you start off by telling people about you and your company and your products and how great they are and your solutions too early in the conversation without first finding out what their problems even are or what's caused the problem or the root cause or how it's affecting them, what typically happens? Well, your prospect will do one of two things. They will either, one, get defensive very quickly, throw up the wall, throw out objections and reject what you're offering. They're gonna give you objections like, oh, it's too expensive, or your price is too high, or I read a review online that's negative about your company, or we don't need it, or we can't afford it, or let me think it over, or what about this, or what about that? Or number two, how many of you ever had that happen, right? Number two, they withdraw from you. They go into witness protection mode, witness protection program, and they don't return your phone calls, your messages. They don't respond to your texts or emails. You know what I'm talking about. Realize when you start off by telling people all about you, your company, your products, your solutions way too early, it triggers sales pressure and resistance automatically, which leads your prospect to start throwing out objections and then they just try to get rid of you. So if you're getting a lot of objections, who's actually causing that? Think about that for a second. So the way you stop all the madness from happening is you have to start thinking like a problem finder and problem solver, not a product pusher. Realize most of your prospects don't even realize they have a problem when you first start talking to them. Or maybe they know they have a problem, but they don't know how bad the problem really is or what the consequences of the problem are if they don't do anything about solving it. So when you get on the call or in the meeting, whoever you're talking to the prospect, you have to learn how to ask skilled questions at the right time in the conversation that triggers your prospect to want to engage with you, to want to open up to you because they feel you are there for them. When you do this, it helps your prospects view their problems in their own mind and helps them find even more problems than they even thought they had, which causes them to view you as what? As the expert, as the authority, the trusted authority, rather than how they view all the other salespeople as just trying to sell them something. You don't wanna be there. All right, we just went over what is sales resistance and how do you avoid it in your sales call? And that is your tip for the day.